Hot glue strings already everywhere. again. It is another holiday, which means it is time for more vintage-inspired kitschy crafts. And on this very chilly Valentine's Day, I am feeling the love. I, of course, have three vintage-inspired Valentine's crafts for you today, so let's get started with project number one. This first project is inspired by these vintage heart-shaped candy boxes. Now these are not your typical modern drugstore candy heart boxes. <laughs> I've fallen in love with these gaudy, fabric-y, overly decorated candy boxes. <laughs> There's just something about an object that I can tactilely imagine finding dusty under a grandmother's bed that just makes me go, ooh, give me. So today I'll be making a chocolate heart inspired Valentine. I'm not going to be trying to recreate the actual box itself just because I do not need any more oddly shaped boxes that my crafts are being very awkwardly stored in. So I'm gonna take inspiration from those very elaborate outer displays and translate it into sort of a, a Valentine that you give. So for this project, you'll need construction paper, fabric, any sort of decorative accoutrement you might want, like ribbons. I'm using some doilies. And of course, you'll need your general craft supplies, glue, scissors, the whole bit. All that stuff I literally always forget to mention when I am doing these materials sections. <laughs> I love this mug not only because it has a really cute Fantasia design, but it allows me to drink a literal bucket of coffee, which is my preferred amount. So I know I want to use this doily as like a centerpiece to my Valentine. So I'm going to use it as a base on this cardboard to then exacto knife around it to create the strong base I'm going to use. So it stays in place. So next I'm going to use a bit of the fabric from this pillowcase that I got at the charity shop and I'm basically, I'm gonna glue it on. <laughs> Why am I not cutting on the line? Should be the easiest fabric to cut and I'm making it hard. Let's switch gears, let's try again. Halloween. Valentine's Day was always so much more exciting of a holiday when I was a kid than it is as an adult. I'm not really too fussed with Valentine's Day as a holiday, not because I'm anti-romance or anti-Hallmark card company or anything. Yeah, I just never really think about it. But as a kid, I loved going and picking out a themed card set from Target. <laughs> I remember when I was in fourth grade, the year that Pokemon was really, really big, but this was still when you had to get a card for everyone in class. There was this kid I sat next to who always made me really uncomfortable, you know, was a bit inappropriate. So when I was filling out my Valentines for class the next day, I, you know, instinctively did his last because like I said, he made me really uncomfortable. But by the time I had gotten to his card, I had used up all of the other cards that were like more friendly friendly in manner and all the ones that were left were, I choose you to be my Valentine. And I thought, oh gosh, now he's going to be even creepier to me. So I took a Sharpie and I completely blacked out the word Valentine and wrote friend. I choose you to be my friend. Anyway, that's been floating around in my brain since I was 10 years old. So now it's in yours as well. Thank you. 
So now that I have all of my pieces, it's time to do the assembly. First and foremost, I hot glue the ruffles to the back of the heart, making sure the pleats look nice or as nice as possible. I then center my doily and glue it to the middle of my heart. And finally, I put on this really sweet illustration sticker and think <laughs> we're good to go. Next up, we'll be making a Valentine's-inspired headpiece. You know I cannot let a time of year pass by without sticking some junk on my head. You know I love a festive headpiece, and Valentine's is no exception. Now, I wouldn't say there's a ton of historical vintage basis in this type of thing, though I have found this cute little ceramic piece. She's got stuff on her head. And this picture of Rita Hayworth, looking really adorable, got this cute little Valentine's headpiece so I'm sort of taking my inspiration from true vintage examples but also my own aesthetic inspiration so for this project you will need some pieces of felt trimmings some sort of focal point I'm using some Victorian inspired Valentine's cutouts and I'm also using some pins to take up a bit of that space as well oh and some bobby pins to pin it on hot glue strings already everywhere so before I go all in and cut the shape that I want out of felt I'm going to make a mock-up from a piece of craft paper just so I can make sure the shape and size are going to look good on my head. Now for this, I think I'm going to try to make it a little heart shape, but we'll see once I cut it out of crepe paper if that shape is going to work and we'll see where we go from there. 12 seconds later. I lied unintentionally. <laughs> I remembered I have these and yeah, I think that's gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna trace this shape onto felt and go from there. Maybe I'll also use this as a base to the felt just to give it a little bit more strength and rigidity. We'll see. Now we've got the shape cut out in our felt and the next step, well, it's kind of like that meme, draw some circles and then draw the rest of the fluff and owl. Just gotta pry out where things are gonna look nice on the headpiece and glue it on. <laughs> so let's play around and see what we got. <laughs> this turned out super sweet. I didn't really have an idea about what I wanted. I just knew I wanted to put something on my head. I thought I was going to make another headband, but then I remembered that I had this, um, this felt. I think it looks really cute. All right, well, that is the second project done. Let's move on to project number three. Last but not least, we are going to be recreating a 1950s style kitschy valentine. Didn't you already do a valentine in this video? I sure did, but they are different. <laughs> Trust me. So I've always loved these really graphic 1950s style valentines that I've seen on the internet. And in my admiration of these valentines, I've sort of noticed that they come into three major categories. The first is very cutesy and sweet. It's sort of a classic valentine. Maybe there's a pun, but there's usually some caricatures in there looking really sweet and cute. The second is I've noticed a ton of food and drink things. Everything from lettuce, tea, hot dogs. There is a food pun. There is a food pun out there uh, with a corresponding 1950s valentine. And the third category is oddly threatening valentines. 
So in my recreation, I am planning to kind of do all three. So for this project, you'll need construction paper, paint, and glue. Project number three is kind of the least involved of all of the projects in that I don't really have anything to do today except for painting and cut it out. I did, I did plan this ahead of time. I drew it out. I have a little lady who of course is looking pretty cute, pretty sweet. For the food element, she is drinking a teacup. There's going to be a food pun. And then for the weird and sinister part, her little Valentine is about to be sipped up in the tea. <laughs> and he is trying to get out, but it's not looking good for him. Well, what did you think? They on a whole turned out pretty nice. I really like the way the first one came out, the candy box inspired one. And it's really giving me those vibes that I was looking for. I actually don't really have tons of Valentine's decorations and I think that will be a nice addition to my holiday aesthetic. <laughs> this headpiece, as always, I'm, you know, it's, I'm gonna like a headpiece unless it turns out really, really stupid. The third one, my little cartoon Valentine, I don't think really embodied what I wanted it to, or I just, I couldn't execute it the way I wanted to. I haven't painted in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty, but it was good practice. I still had fun doing it. It was still a good time. I would love to know what you thought, if you had a favorite out of any one of these. How do you feel about Valentine's Day? Is it something you forget about almost entirely, like me? And I would love to hear a favorite Valentine's memory. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!